Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be talking about uh, the Unreal Engine 5.2 and the update for Octane that uh, supports the, the Unreal Engine 5.2. So what you see here is I'm in the Unreal Engine 5.2 and I'm running Octane uh, 2023. This is the alpha version and you can see how well it's uh, resolving. This is a uh, path tracing over here and it looks amazing but there's something really cool that i want to show you that <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind so normally when you use octane uh you do it, you use it is in a window like this right but they've added something really cool that supports uh, like real-time rendering like if you click on this right here you're gonna see a difference so when i move the character you see how much smoother that is look at that this is amazing. This is in the inside of the Unreal Engine 5.2, right? So if you disable or deactivate this uh, real-time rendering, and then I try to move, and I'm actually, you can see the background, like look over here. You can see the speed at which I am rotating the scene, and it slows down until I enable real-time rendering. And now, <laughs> It's in, it's like a feedback is almost like in real time. So that that's what's amazing. And another feature is that uh, now you can actually use uh, Octane inside of the viewport uh, without having to rely on this uh, floating window, Octane viewport over here. And uh, guys, if you're curious about how to get this free version of uh, the uh, Octane engine, Octane render engine for the Unreal Engine 5.2, you just have to go to the render.otoy.com, the Otoy website and then go to the uh, Octane licensed customer. Okay, let's do this. Let me go to Oct Otoy right here. Go to forum over there. Scroll down and look for plugin discussion and support. And then scroll all the way down and look for the Unreal Engine over here. And then click on releases. I hope you can rewind and see the process that I went through. But here up at the top, always keep an eye out on the date. So this was uh, updated on May 30th. So if you click on that, you see that uh, there's a, a version for 5.2 and then there's a version for 5.1, right? So this particular version, um, I don't see the prime version, right? Which means I think this version, the 2023 alpha for UE, uh, might be for just the studio version. Because if I go back, to the releases over here and let's see let me look at uh say hmm let's try look at this one here so this version of 2022 if you scroll all the way down you can see there's a free version of it right the free version installer and that's the prime version and then you have the studio version right and for 5.1 and 5.1 but if i go back to the releases over here and I go to the alpha version, uh, they have not made the free version just yet. So uh, you, you'd have to have like the studio license to be able to see, to use what I'm, uh, see what I'm seeing. So um, hopefully they will update this to have uh, the free version as well. But I'm just showing you the difference in the improvement of the quality. <laughs> This is uh, Octane 2023 that has seen some immense, amazing updates in the feedback. And I'm going to compare this to the path tracer in the Unreal Engine so you can see the difference. So this is path tracing. All right, guys. So I wanted to compare uh, the path tracer in Octane to the path tracing in uh, the Unreal Engine, the native one. So I've already switched. I've gone to my project settings over here. And uh, let's type in uh, DirectX. So you can see that I've switched to DirectX 12, right? So now if I drop down in the list, you can see path, the path tracing is enabled. So let's see, uh, I'm gonna turn on path tracer here shortly. So that, and then you can, you can look at in the previous part of the video and see how the both of them look. But uh, for now, let's switch to Path Tracer over here. And so if I select uh, 
you know, Stormtrooper here and I rotate. Let me actually press uh, focus and it's uh, rotate. So you can see how the path tracer is responding. Compare again, depending on what your graphics card is, uh, you can see how well it's uh, clearing. So this is the path tracer using the Unreal Engine native path tracing. And you can see down here the speed at which it's resolving. Yeah. And so, and then I'll go through the settings of the path tracing and also the different kernel settings for Octane. So you can also see what it looks like. But this is what it looks, this scene that we're testing, this is what it looks like when I use the path trace, path tracer, as a tongue twister, path tracer in uh, the Unreal Engine 5.2. It's pretty, uh, with my graphics card, it's moving really quick. It's resolving pretty, pretty quick. So it's kind of comparable to what the Octane version gives you. But the good thing is that, of course, this is native. So everything that is uh, in the Unreal Engine, uh, is uh, uh, textures, you know, shaders, you, you, you name it, it's going to work much more seamlessly. But you still have to, like when you first launch Octane, you can see it converting the different textures of uh, this entire scene. But this is what it looks like. So you guys wanted to see the difference of this particular scene. This is what it looks like in the Path Tracer for the Unreal Engine 5.2. Okay. I'm going to scale this down a little bit and I'm going to pull this over so I can show you the kernel settings over here. So I'll go to the Octane tab over here. And uh, let's expand this and look for the kernel settings, this one right here. And let's expand that also. So right now I'm using path tracing and you can see how quick it's, so it resolved the 275 uh, samples in like what, 16 seconds, right? So we can increase this to say 1000 And let's see how long it takes to do 1,000 samples. Now, a disclaimer, I'm using uh, a 6,000 uh, RTX, like, uh, this is a Quadro A6000, the ADA version. And so that's why you're able to see this amount of uh, the performance at this level, right? So that is path tracing. However, if I go down here and switch to the direct lighting kernel as well, that resolves much quicker. And you can see the result as well because I'm using real-time rendering over here. That's really quick, like super quick, <laughs> like real-time octane render quick, kind of. So, uh, and then under here, because you have two modes, you have the ambient occlusion version, right? And you can change the different like levels of uh, the samples over here. So if I switch over to diffuse, diffuse is similar to uh, like path tracing, but it allows you to almost simulate like light bouncing. And you can see it's here, right? It's still using direct lighting kernel, but it's now bouncing the light. So I can increase the diffuse depth uh, to like also five to get more samples going, around, more light bounces going around. And all these, you can lower them or increase them according to how long you, your budget is in terms for rendering, right? So when we look around, you can see, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> I love the Octane Render Engine and to see it actually improving like this is amazing. So you can see how the light is bouncing off of the, uh, the chest plate over here and hitting that. So if I switch back to the ambient occlusion and then it doesn't do it as well, and then when I switch to path tracing, and now you can see the difference right there, okay? So in order for this to be used in the viewport over here, you would have to switch to DirectX 11. So for some reason right now, uh, the real-time rendering using Octane for without the window here does not work with uh, DirectX 12 which is what I'm running right now. And you know, you know, right now the Unreal Engine 5.2 works best with DirectX 12. 
So if you want to have real-time feedback in the viewport, then you have to switch to Direct, DirectX 11. All right, guys, so let me show you the part that uh, where you can actually use the Octane Render Engine inside of the viewport as opposed to just using the floating window. So you go to your project settings, you go to edit over here, project settings, and type in DirectX up at the top, and then you can see that I've switched already to DirectX 11. So if you, by default, I mean, you're gonna be with the DirectX 12, but in order to use it in the viewport, you're gonna need DirectX 11. And you, it will ask you to restart your uh, Unreal Engine, and then you'll be able to take advantage of it. So now that I've switched to DirectX 11 in the project settings, watch this. So I'm gonna close this over here, and I'll go to Octane, and look, over here, overlay, under the overlay section, you have Unreal Rend Viewport Rendering. So I'm gonna enable that, and enable this as well, and guess what? <laughs> <laughs> now it's in the viewport. Now I it's encourage I encourage you to you set up a camera, but watch what's happening now. Now it's working in the viewport in almost real time. Isn't that amazing? This is the Unreal Engine view, and let's click out of that so you can actually see it. So you need to have a camera set for it to show because I have it in the camera settings over here in the Octane Render tab. And if I go to the section over here with camera mode, you can see that I've already set my camera actor to be the selected camera. So if I switch to my camera over here, now I'm able to rotate around this character. And <laughs> look at that, that's real time over here so unfortunately I, I don't know if it's uh, unfortunate or if that's intended but i'm hoping to get more information on why you need direct x 11 and not direct x 12 because it would be cool to use direct x 12 uh, so that it supports the, the viewport over here so that is cool guys i just wanted to show you that uh, now what's amazing is that you can use the octane render engine in the viewport of the unreal engine 5.2 and you can see the option right here. You just have to disable it if you don't want to use it. And it goes back to the regular camera over here. And I'm not gonna try to do the path tracing here because I, right now in order to use path tracing inside of uh, the Unreal Engine 5.2, you need uh, to have 5. Point, uh, the DirectX 12 enabled, right? So because we have DirectX 11 enabled, we are able to use the viewport, but we can't use uh, path tracing for the Unreal Engine by itself. So if you, when you go to like after under the lit mode, uh, path tracing is not going to be enabled until you switch on 12, so uh, direct X12. But for now, if you are planning on using Octane, right, make sure you switch to direct X11. And then if you want to see it in the viewport over here, simply go to Octane. Enable overlay over here, Unreal Viewport Rendering, Unreal Viewport Interactive Mode, and you're gonna have it right there. So cool. And then amazingly is that you can get that automatic focus. The auto focus is so cool. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> right. So, but today I wanted to show you that uh, right now this uh, this build of uh, the 2023 for 5.2 is available for you to test and so for those of you who have the studio license you're able to test it and see how beautiful it looks and uh, this is just a, a star wars uh, model that i'm using and the background that you see there was generated using uh, blockade labs and it gives me beautiful lighting reflections so cool look at that <laughs> I love the Unreal Engine and it's so cool to see all these other, you know, components that are being made to work together with it, uh, like the Octane Render Engine and Sky, the, like the uh, Blockade Labs, 360 degree Skybox that can work really well. So this is, uh, this is really, really, really cool. Anyway, I was so excited. I had to share this with you guys because, you know, I've test done in the past, in the past I've tested the Octane Render Engine. So I wanted to update you as 
we continue to use the Unreal Engine 5.2 because now it's an official release. So this is cool to see that uh, Otoy has finally released uh, a version of the Unreal Engine, the, the Octane Render Engine that works with uh, 5.2. And look at how beautiful that looks. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Uh, this is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I am sharing this so that you guys are inspired, and hopefully that it inspires you to think outside of the box of what is possible with the Unreal Engine, in that uh, you not only can do uh, like just a real-time lit mode in the path tracing inside of uh, here, you can actually use path tracing inside of uh, the uh, Octane Render Engine. You can see how beautiful that looks. And you can adjust the imaging and the camera settings to give you a really, really cool look. So again, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Much love to you all. Dare to dream big. Don't give up on your dreams. And as always, stay safe. Uh, bye for now.